I'm going to explain what happens when you input materials into Red Rhino. Red Rhino has a material list, or what they call a material catalog, with pricing in it. Red Rhino also has a labor catalog with labor units associated to materials. So when you input a material, it spits out the price of the product or the materials and the labor it takes to install it, and it pulls from those catalogs. In this example on line two, notice how it shows the description as a plastic one-gang nailer box. Over to the right, and I'll skip over the UPC manufacturer catalog number, but just over to the quantity, it shows a quantity of one. Now it shows the unit price of the boxes at $46.95 per hundred. Notice the unit of measure is set for C, which is per hundred. In other words, 100 boxes cost $46.95. So it, next it shows the extended price. In other words, if you had a quantity of 10 here, it would show you what the cost of 10 was under the extended price. Okay, in this case it's a quantity of one, the extended price is 47 cents. Now, notice the program over here to the right shows the labor hours in each item down the, down the list here. In this example, there's 0.12 hours to install a box. And that also, it also shows you the extended labor um, next to that. So, so this is how it works with Red Rhino. Each item has a description, a quantity, a unit price, extended price, labor hours, and extended labor. And so that's how it works when you input materials into Red Rhino.